And so as we begin our service, let's draw those people that we know would like to be with us, but who can't. And those people that will come here later together and say the words that we use as our gathering sentences as if they were all here with us. As God's people, we have gathered. Be with us, Spirit of God. Nothing. Breathe on us, breath of God. Fill us with your saving power. Wisdom of God. So now we come to our first song. Um, I think it's, um, it's called Come On and Celebrate. And I hope that most of you will know it. But if you don't, then listen and join in whenever you can. On mute. <laughs> when we haven't behaved in the way that would draw us closer to God, but have in fact turned away from him. So in this time, we turn back to him to say sorry for those things that have taken us away from his presence. In the dark and disfigured world, we have not held out the light of life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. In a hungry and despairing world, we have failed to share our bread. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. In a cold and loveless world, we have kept the love of God to ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, mercy. Receive God's forgiveness in these words. 
Almighty God, who in Jesus Christ has given us a kingdom that cannot be destroyed. Forgive us our sins, open our eyes to God's truth, strengthen us to do God's will, and give us the joy of his kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And now let's pray. Creator God, you made us all in your image. May we discern you in all that we see and serve you in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 And now Anne is going to um, read for us. The reading is from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 18 to 25. I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning in labour pains until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly while we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that is seen is not hope. For who hopes for what is seen? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you, Anne. When my daughter was about eight, the dance school she attended put on a show, which included a medley of songs from the musical Annie. Now, I'm sure many of you will remember the storyline about little Annie, very much mistreated by her gin-drinking foster mother, Miss Hannigan. Sophie thought it was great and spent weeks and weeks some singing nothing but it's a hard life. Such venom in her voice, you just wouldn't believe it. In the bath, on our walk to school, and in bed at night. It's a hard knock life. This was the number her dance class was involved with and she wanted to be word perfect. Then as the show got closer, there were extra rehearsals with the other classes as the medley was drawn together. And suddenly Sophie's song changed. No more, it's a hard knock life, but the much gentler the sun will come out tomorrow. I will say it was quite a relief. And of course, the sun does come out for Annie. Her life is transformed when she's adopted by the millionaire Daddy Warbucks. Overnight, she goes from being a destitute orphan to being the adopted daughter of the richest man in the world. In our Bible reading today, Paul writes about the problems that we face in the world, the hard knocks we all experience, and the tension between those real experiences and what we can look to and long for in the future because we are children of God. Accepting Jesus as our Lord and Saviour, we are adopted by God and have become heirs to the glory of heaven with Christ. Now, Paul doesn't dismiss the hardships we face, but points us forward so that we can hope 
to what we can hope for in Christ. He tells us God is at work in the nitty gritty of our lives through the Holy Spirit and in God's provision. And when our hearts cry out, Abba Father, that the Holy Spirit moving in us turns us to our Heavenly Father. When we feel, feel led to pray or to praise, when we're prompted to serve, that is the proof that we've been adopted by God. It's hard sometimes to look beyond the present difficulties, but this passage invites us to consider where our hope truly is. Or if we should try to step aside from the challenges that are part of life in this world, this passage invites us to be real about the suffering and conditions in the world and to look to the resources God gives us in the Holy Spirit. The hope that um, you know, God brings to us through Christ is something that you know, we can hold on to in these times. Now, I thought today we we're going to try something a little bit different. Um, we're going to try to use, I say try, I think it will work, the Zoom um, breakout rooms. Um, and don't worry, you don't have to do anything other than when you're asked to, the sign will come up, please join the meeting. Then just join as you do normally for us here. And you'll be in groups of about four, if you don't want to, then don't feel you have to, but I hope that most of you would like to. And then you'll be in a group of four, and I want you to just spend a few moments discussing your hopes with each other. Your individual hopes, yes, but also to consider the hopes you have for the church as we move into new ways of being church. So we'll have just a few minutes and then you'll get a warning when, your time, when the time is drawing to an end. And then you'll automatically be joined back. So I think we're going, to, we're going to put you into the groups now. So just wait for a second and you should see a new message appear. All right, so is everybody coming back slowly? Have we got everybody back? Mm -hmm. Can, mm -hmm. I just, can I just say, is, uh, thank you. Um, welcome back, everyone. I know that on my screen, I should have had somebody else there, but it didn't say who it was, and the screen was completely blank. And if you were there, but we just couldn't hear you, I'm very sorry about that. And if that happened for anybody else, then, um, you know, I'm sorry. We are still learning this, but I hope that the, the rest of you found that useful. Now, I ask people what their hope was for the future, for themselves and for the church. Um, I'm not going to ask you for the feedback now, but if you do have anything that you would like to share, then either put it in the chat or catch up with us later, and then maybe we can use it for further discussion at some point. But what is our future hope? Paul tells us that we're not alone in suffering and that God is doing something in the middle of it all to help us to cling to hope that we share. These days are trying times, but God in his goodness promises that he will not always be like this. I ask you to think about that question again through the week. And as we wait and hope for the day to come, when we see God's promise of a new creation fulfilled, we can be sure God is working to help us to stay that faithful as we walk in new ways as church and seek to share our hope with the world. And now we have our next song, Such Love which I think Becky is going to lead us in again. Thank you. 
showing ye holiness. Oh, Jesus, such a such a springs from eternity. Now, let us declare our faith and trust in the God of hope. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in the Lord the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We, we believe in God, God, the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. And now, Fenella is going to lead us in our intercessions this morning. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we pray for our church, for our clergy, the diocese and the Church of England, as they all work so hard trying to connect Christians so that you, God, are ever present in our lives. Be with the clergy, Lord, and give them guidance and support as they work in your name, especially in this time as they look to reopen the churches. Lord, we pray for our world, for the animals and creatures and every human in it. Please be with everyone, Lord. Show yourself to them in ways only you can. Guide them in your light to find ways to help others. In particular, please give people direction to fight this pandemic and knowledge on how to stop the spread of the virus. Lord, we pray for our community and our church community. We pray we will continue to stay connected in as many ways as possible and that our virtual communication that has connected so many may not be lost in the reopening of the church. We pray that we will be there as a church and as a support system for others in the community, always making sure people know they are always welcome in our church. Lord, we pray for anyone who is facing hardships or is suffering at this time as a result of either the pandemic, illness, personal issues or other worldwide suffering. Please, Lord, be with anyone who is suffering and let them know you love them and are looking after them. Sit with those who are sick or need our prayers, including Edna, Laura, Marilyn, Stanford, Mabel and Sue S. And be there for those who mourn as we remember those who have died, including Anne Maria and Dorothy Oliver. And at their year's mind, William Beveridge, Ronald Martin, Marilyn Lehman, Brian Jackson, Charles Hammond and John Bonney. Lastly, Lord, we give thanks for you and your son, our saviour. We pray for the lives you made for us, the love that you show us and the tests that you give us. We pray that you will give us strength and hope, especially through this time of difficulty, to persevere and know you have a plan for us. Lord, let your message be known this week and let hope and faith be present in our lives, Lord. Merciful Father, accept these prayers. For the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the most of our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. And now let us um, come together to share the peace. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. So if you are two people together, then share the peace together. And if not, then for those that of you are on their own, I share it with you now. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace and we come to our final song today the kingdom of god the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing and the blessing of God Almighty the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you this day and evermore Amen <laughs>